Good evening. Tonight I'm going to cook blackened mahi in the oven using a cast iron skillet. And if you can't find fresh mahi, I go to Publix, I get frozen mahi. They, they sell it in a two pack. And this stuff is really good. And you, get two, you get two six ounce fillets. You need to kind of feel the bag to see if how the shape is because sometimes you get a long skinny one and a tall fat one. So I usually feel the bag to make sure they're about the same size. That way the cook time's the same. I have a couple of cast iron skillets, but I always cook my fish in the same cast iron skillet. My personal opinion, once you cook fish in your cast iron skillet, I don't care how well it's seasoned, it's still going to have that fish flavor. So I've got a, a 10 inch cast iron skillet. I always cook my fish in this and I cook all my other stuff in a different skillet. My favorite seasoning for blackened fish is Badia black and red fish seasoning. It's very good. I've tried a lot of them and th this is my favorite and that's what I'm going to use tonight. Usually I use oil for the pan and I put a little oil on the, on the fillets and I put the uh, seasoning on it. But what I'm going to do tonight, I don't know how you say this, the smoke point on this clarified butter is 485 degrees. So I'm going to try. I've never tried this before. I've always used this to saute vegetables. I've even used this for lobster, for the drawn butter. So I'm going to cook with this for the fish and see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to throw that clarified butter in this skillet. I have the oven set for 450. I'm going to stick this in with the butter in and let it preheat probably 10, 15 minutes. This clarified butter is not inexpensive. This is a 13 ounce container. And this was probably 12 or 15 dollars and the only place I've been able to find this is at Whole Foods. The fillets come in a two pack, they're individually packaged. We got clarified butter in the pan, I'm going to put that in the preheated oven, it's 450 already. I'll put this in probably for about 10 minutes. I'll let that heat up. I've got the fillets, I rinsed them, I dried them real good, I melted some of that clarified butter. Got them wet with the butter and I put the redfish seasoning on them. I'll put these back in the refrigerator until that uh, skillet's hot. Those fillets will only take anywhere from four to five minutes aside and they'll be done and tasty. I always leave the tongs on the oven mitts to remind me to use the oven mitts. I know people have a teardrop shape in their hand from cooking with cast iron. Okay, this pan's been preheating about 10 minutes in the oven at 450. We'll go ahead and put that back in. We're going to do four minutes aside. Put the oven mitts next to the trivet. Flip the fish. Okay, we're going to flip the fish. Got the tongs. Got the important part. Got the oven mitts. Okay, put them back in for another four minutes. All right, we're going to check the fish, got the tongs, got the important part, got the oven mitts, also got a Thermal Works Mark IV pen. Okay, Mahi's done at 137, 150. I do like my fish firmer than I do like it soft. Now we've got it tented in foil, let it rest for four or five minutes. And it just flakes apart. Cooking your mahi inside in the oven, it comes out really good. And that clarified butter actually did give it an extra boost in the flavor. The coating is not super crunchy for a blackened type of fish. Crunchy really doesn't matter to me. It's got a lot of flavor. That is very good. And it was super easy. It does have a crusty exterior, but not as crusty as you would if you were doing it outside where you get the thing billowing smoke. You want to cook it in your house, this is the way to do it, because my house does not stink like black and seasoning. And that cast iron skillet did a really good job. Give it a try. And instead of using oil, I recommend using that clarified butter, but use it sparingly because it's expensive, but it is very flavorful. 
I do blacken fish quite often and a lot of people say, oh, you do it in the oven. Yeah, I do it in the oven because it's real easy. And it doesn't make a mess like doing it on the stovetop. So if you want to cook yourself some delicious blackened fish, I would say put it in the oven, preheat the oven to 450, put the cast iron skillet, once the oven's preheated, put the cast iron skillet in there with the clarified butter or the oil, whichever you're using, and let that skillet heat up for 10, 10 to 15 minutes. And then cook that fish, I don't know, three, four, depending on the thickness. These were probably about an inch thick, but they were thin as far as width. I usually always cook the fish fillets three to five minutes aside when I blacken them. So, you know, just check them. Keep an eye on them. And these these flaked right apart. They were they were very good. And I'm very happy with the use of that clarified butter. I've never used that before. This is the first time I'm using it. And I highly recommend it. I'll have to go back to Whole Foods and get me some more because I just used up the end of that jar. Well, happy fish eating. Put the cast iron skillet in. Uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, that was nice, wasn't it?